Now to the latest in the law. Las Vegas mass shooting investigation. Police admitting that they are extremely frustrated trying to figure out Stephen Paddock's motive. But authorities are learning more about the methodical way he planned the massacre. ABC's Kenneth Moten is in Las Vegas with more. Kenneth, good morning. Good morning, John and Paula. Just an incredible memorial behind me here. This community rightly wants the focus to be on the victims of this massacre, but this morning there's still a lot of attention on the gunman. Police are investigating every aspect of his life from birth to death. This morning, the hunt for a motive is growing increasingly frustrating for police in Las Vegas. We thought we might find some ideology or some economic or political or social reason, uh, some medical reason. We haven't found it yet. Electronic billboards now up around Vegas. Investigators are asking for more tips about mass murderer Stephen Paddock. Is it possible the motive is he did it because he could? That's certainly a, a possibility, but it's one of those possibilities that you really can't wrap your mind around, can you? I, I don't know if I can accept that one. New details are emerging. Sources say Paddock kept a low profile to avoid suspicion from hotel security. On the phone with room service, authorities say Paddock pretended he was speaking with others in the room, checking their orders so hotel staff wouldn't think he was alone in the large suite. His final days, authorities say, included a prostitute and a gambling spree. Near his killer's perch in Mandalay Bay, police confirmed they found a recent prescription for Valium and a note with a series of cryptic numbers. Run! Keep your head down! Nearly a week since Paddock opened fire on thousands of people at a music festival. I've been shot in the arm. You've been shot? I need 911. I need, I need an ambulance. New video and incredible stories of survival. People rushed to help 48-year-old Doug Carter, separated from his wife and son. Go. Here, stay right here. Just, he's been shot. It's just amazing that there was somebody there to help my dad. And he was actually, I was worried. I thought he was out on the street somewhere. I, I had no idea. Police are crediting Mandalay Bay security guard Jesus Campos for alerting first responders and stopping more bloodshed. Paddock shot Campos while he was responding to a door alarm on that 32nd floor. He rose to the occasion and acted like an absolute hero. An attorney for Paddock's girlfriend, Mary Lou Danley, says she continues to cooperate with the FBI. Just days after President Trump made a visit to Las Vegas, Vice President Pence will be here today to attend and speak at a unity prayer walk. John and Paula. Yeah, that motive's still so bizarre. They have these pieces to the puzzle, but they just don't fit right now. Kenneth, thank you for your reporting.